sometimes Nintendo won't return my calls and go! Let's go! Ah, uh, Nintendo listening to fans, we we hope they do. We know that they're great innovators and they do well for themselves without the fans input, but oh. they ouch. They should listen to us. Yeah. E3 2017 could be a bombshell or a bust because yes. It's really interesting Switch hasn't been at E3 yet. So this is Switch's debut year and I will say that the first party lineup is on the sparser side between Switch launch and E3. It feels like the gap between Zelda and Mario Kart is a little too wide. Like, I finished Zelda in one month, so what am I going to do for the second month? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So, they got to... This is like, they're going to be telling us what's at holiday and everything. So, this could be real big? Yes. I think my prediction for E3, and we'll see as it gets closer what hype is building up. Yes, and we'll do an official bingo card. This is this is going to be... We've gotten a bingo two years in a row, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have. Um, this is either going to be... They're going to knock it out of the park, uh-huh. or I think it's going to be like a base hit. Like, they're going to do okay. Is that how you swing a bat? Yeah, just... Eh. It's all in the wrist, Sonny. No. Uh, <laughs> That's the hips. <laughs> it's all in the rips. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think that... I mean, they could surprise me, but I don't think they're going to bomb this. I think that they have enough obvious things that they sh- that they can do yeah. that are easy. It's like the bases are loaded for them, and all they have yeah. to do is just... Yeah, bases are loaded. The ball. They're they're tied, and all they need to do is hit the ball, and they get the home run to win the game. Yeah. So we predict MLB eighteen. No, yes. No, we don't. Mario Mario mixed with Major League Baseball players. These aren't necessarily our predictions. This is what we think they should do. Yes. Good news on the online systems and virtual console yes the things that are missing the things that we're worried about will our purchases carry over will we have an account history all you need to do is just give us a little bit of good news and we'll be so happy sometimes it doesn't take that much to please us if it's just like if we've been complaining about something for 10 years and you can fix it then please do something. yes yeah it's it's like the smash bros default menu thing it's like you can do this. You can do this. Nintendo. It's it's an obvious. It's an obvious choice that you need to do. Um, I'm hoping that they revive a classic series, and okay. they they've done this uh, several a la times. Kid Icarus. A la Kid Icarus. Yes, and that was one of the ones that actually popped into my head. Is we had Kid Icarus Uprising, but we haven't seen anything since. And nope. even though it had poop controls, yes. everybody loved that game. Uh, I could see that we could have a Kid Icarus return. I'd like to see Custom Robo uh, yeah. have a return. Um, F-Zero hasn't had a game in a while. There are just several different franchises that they had to pick from that if they pick you know, the right one, yeah. crowds could the crowd could get wild. Listen up, Nintendo. If you're not going to use F-Zero, go ahead and stink and give it to Shinen. Yes. who are making fast RMX and just let them slap the IP on it because they're picking up your slack. Exactly. Next, I'd like them to blow the lid off of Super Mario Odyssey. Yes. I believe Miyamoto has said this game is almost done. So there's no reason not good. to make it this year's what Breath of the Wild was last year where... Yeah, that's their big showcase... Um, game, I I think so. I when I saw the footage of it initially, I got really excited about so it. So excited. Um, the problem with that is, if they focus so much on this, is there enough that we haven't seen that's going to make us more excited, or are we going to say we already saw what we saw and know. they just showed us a little bit more? I don't know. Hopefully, it, well, I know we've seen so many different areas. That I true. still hope we hear something kind of like we did with Zelda, where it was like, you've only been on the Great Plateau, and that's about 1% of the game. Yes. And then we're like, oh, okay, show us all the footage you'd like to then. That would be so, nice. Yeah. 
And then, speaking of Breath of the Wild, we have DLC coming. Yes, uh, we do. Two pieces this year, so if we don't have the first piece already, I'm sure that'll get focused on a lot. But I think we should also get like a really cool trailer for this new storyline that's coming with the the winter, the holiday pack. And, I mean, get the hype train going for Breath of the Wild again. Yes, I am excited for, uh, for that to happen. Mm-hmm. They need to. Um, arms. We need details on it. I'm, I'm in this area as, you know, am I excited for it or am I not excited for it? You know, um, it looks kind of wee boxing y where it's not that serious, but I am very excited. I think it has potential to be the new Smash Bros. Oh, wow. That <laughs> see, that's so big. You know, I, I think it's going to be a fun game. I know I'm going to enjoy it. Anyways, we need details. I, I am excited for it, but only on the level of it's going to be a fun party game. They got to prove it to me that it has more in it. I believe. Speaking of I believe, <laughs> just we need to see some form of Metroid. Please! And at this point, I'm not even asking for it to come out this year. If they just show yeah. like a little no. teaser and say, we are making something for 2018, that is going to carry me on wings like the angels wow eagles is the term right i think so but angels is better cool yeah better way better (laughs) yeah um i will float through the rest of this year to metroid (laughs) do you think that they will put out a 2d metroid collection collection would be great that would be really nice Even, even if it's just that like that lets us know that Nintendo hasn't forgotten Metroid. And I know we have we have words from Reggie, and I know we have Federation Force or whatever the heck that is. You know, I we love how you called it wrong for like an entire year. I, just I like did. Metroid Federation. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. It's the Feds. But anyway, uh, we, I we very infrequently Metroid. think about like what they could compile. That's yeah, a great question. I I just had that idea. I'm like right. 2D Metroid compilation. Yes. Huh, another thing that would be so wonderful is to hear about Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Whether you know if it's a new one, that would be mind blowing. If it's they're revamping like four and Smash and a half. Bros. Yeah, <clears throat> Smash Bros. for Switch. Mm-hmm. That would be that would be really nice. Smash Bros. TE. We won't stop talking about it. They need to make it happen. I could. See Smash Bros for Switch, add Splatoon, girl and guy costume swaps. Oh pops. yeah, add maybe like arms character. I mean Smash Bros is usually kind of catching up rather than like helping promote. But that's true. But now that we have DLC, that could definitely change. Like they can promote games through Smash Bros. You know, um, Splatoon can. arms, and then maybe they could make Link like Breath of the Wild Link or something. Oh, New costume. Cool. I don't know. But yeah, I I think with however much they're doing with the Inklings, we are going to see them in the next form of Smash, no oh, matter yeah. what. I think it's a no-brainer. You see them in Mario Kart now. There's no stopping the Inklings. No. And then lastly, I wouldn't mind another one or maybe two ports. I don't want Switch to become the port console, but there are some great things on Wii U that I miss that I think could fill in the gaps because... We don't know much about between E3 and Christmas, so a port would be appropriate, I, I think. And and I agree with you because with the Wii U stuff, this is this could be the last chance with the Switch mm-hmm. that we see any sort of port from the Wii U games that made it so unique. Like 2017, you mean? This kind of last chance. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, with the Switch, I mean, the next console, we don't know if it's going to have touchscreen or see. not. We don't know the design specs on it, if they're going to do a Switch 2. Mm-hmm. But this could be the last chance for, and it might be this year is the last chance, that they get to announce anything that the Wii U carries on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, E3 2017. Big old question mark. Yes. And if anybody, if you got tickets, let us know. That would be very exciting. Yes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the crew. Don't forget to check out our website, www.twobuttoncrew.com, where we have content yeah. 
every single day of the week. And it's getting better all the time. We have the Slack channel where people are making website suggestions, improving upon improvements. It's awesome. So don't forget to go to 2 See you guys next time. Signing out.